Hannah, I wanted to wish you a Chag Sameach from Israel. It's a happy holidays. We are soon going to be entering into the festival called Sukkot, or booths, or Feast of Tabernacles. So it's a really a joyful time here in the land because we finished with Yom Truah and Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, and Feast of Trumpets, and which is, you know, a time of fasting and prayer, and it's all about God's judgment and repentance and all that. And now we're entering into Sukkot, which is called the season of our joy. It's uh, the remembrance of how God took care of us as we wandered in the wilderness, and we didn't have a permanent home. We, we just lived in these little booths along the way, or the, it's called these Sukkot. And it's a, it's a reminder for us that God always takes care of us, even in the wilderness. He provides for us, and He is faithful. And um, it also reminds us, I think, that this is not really our permanent home. We're just passing through, and our homes that we have, th these are just our temporary dwellings, and our true home will be one day in heaven. And then it says that one day, in Revelations 21, says one day that God himself will come and tabernacle with us or dwell with us. So won't that be a wonderful day? It's also called, you know, the Feast of the Nations. And uh, so it's it, all the nations come to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. It's a foreshadow of what's going to happen. It's mentioned in Zechariah chapter 14 where it says all the nations have come against Jerusalem and God wipes out all the enemies of Israel and then it says the survivors of all the nations will will need to come here to Jerusalem to celebrate what? Sukkot. So if anybody says that all these Chagim, all these feasts are abolished, you just point them to Zechariah 14 for me. And uh, anyways, we're, we're at a congregational retreat right now in a place called Nachshonim. It's a kibbutz. We usually have two retreats a year, one in the fall and one in the spring. And um, so this is our fall retreat and we're gathering together with our kila, which is called Shem and Sason, Oil of Joy. And it has been a great time of rest and refreshing. And we went today to a swimming pool, a water park, which was, oh, you just cannot, you just would have had to be here to, to experience it. It happened to, to be the one day that it was some Arabic holiday. And I think every Arabic person in Israel had turned out to this pool. So everyone was shoved in there like sardines. There was Arab women with their faces completely covered and com completely covered in black going into the water with their full robes on and, and you know, it was just something else. So we didn't stay there too long. But anyways, it was nice to get into the water. And I just thought that anybody who says that Israel is an apartheid state, they should have been in the Nachshonim pool today because they would have seen the Jewish Israelis and the Arabic is Israelis and everybody in there splashing and jumping around and having a great time together. So pass the word along, tell everybody you know Chag Sameach, build yourself a little sukkah and uh, remember that it says in Psalm 27 that in the last days, in the times of trouble, God will hide us in his sukkah. So God has a sukkah, he is our covering, he will hide us. And um, so hug some air. Shalom.